Okay, this tree was used as a marker for a land deed in 1881. So it is over 137 years old, probably closer to 200, we figure. And it is a land marker for the Paget land that William Marion Paget owned and had bought from a family member. Beautiful. This is the beach spring. It was right here. It's all filled in now with dirt. And that's the reason it was named Beach is because of the big beech tree that was there in uh, 1881. And it's a marker for the part of the land. And if you follow this drain ditch to the top of that hill, there's a big rock. We actually put a pin in there years ago. Uh, and it comes, the land comes down through here and runs in this direction, back this way, to the base of that mountain back there, and there's another rock back there. And this is my, uh, pat, uh, it used to be a pasture, but really it's just a field down here now, my barn and field. And this is where they had all their corn and, and potatoes. This is where they grew corn. And I don't think they grew potatoes here. It's too wet and potatoes would rot before they got ready. Uh, this was mostly corn down here in this field. As, if I rem that's the only thing I remember Grandpa having down here. If you, this is called the Pettit Road that we're standing on. And you can't go through there now because we've let it grow up so it wouldn't be used as a public road. But if you follow this road down there, you have to drive through the water to go across the creek. And is that Pettit Creek and or that, is that Paget that comes That down there will be Pettit Creek. And it runs at an angle down and hits Paget Creek. And we're about to go over there and look at Paget Creek. And we just came over Paget Creek. We've got to come over here because spring. Over here. And so this tree is just phenomenal. And if you look, you can see that water is still running out of the side of the mountain here. When we first put our house right here that we have rented now, we drilled our well right out here on the side of the yard uh, because Daddy knew that there would be water there. Oh, let me tell you this. My father could take a forked peach tree. He would cut off a limb on a peach tree and make it into a fork. And he would walk out through there like this. And when he came to water, that thing would turn straight down. He, <laughs> he, found, wa he found places for people to put their wells in Pickens County for many years. That is so cool. And part of the limbs are now falling off of this tree. Oh yes, this tree is 200 years old, so. <laughs> wow. And so you've got the land deed. Here, show that to me again, where it, where um, it says, describes beginning at a rock and runs south along to a beach spring and then a drain ditch to, the, and that's to that this, mountain over there, to another rock, and across that, the creek. That was 1881? 1881. That's the first land that the Pagets oh bought. Um, Look at the limbs on that. 137 I'm trying years. to see how much he paid. The land for. was originally bought by William Paget, who was actually Abraham's son, our William Myron's uncle. He would have been the brother of our great, great, well, Asa Paget. Um, he bought 80 acres in here for $670. Um, and then he sold it to his, he never moved here. But he sold this land to his brother Isaac some years later. And then our great grandfather, William Marion Mar Mar Paget, actually bought it from the heirs of Isaac, his other uncle. Isaac and the old William was sons of Abraham and Rhoda Paget. And so that's how it got into William, Reverend William. That's how it got to rather, and Isaac was a preacher too. He was Reverend Isaac Paget. We have a lot of preachers in our line. That's fascinating.